So apparently Nike's gonna start selling refurbished sneakers. Basically, they're trying to sell you sneakers. Supreme is adding Apple Pay back to the website. Born and Raised Dunks are still gonna be releasing a lot coming up in this video. If you guys doing up enjoy, make sure you leave a like on it down below. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what other type of content you would like to see. Also, would you like me to do a weekly recap of all the sneaker news we have for the week? It's an idea I've been toying with, so let me know if it's something you would like to see. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get straight to it. First thing things first, Supreme is adding Apple Pay back to the website. I'm honestly kind of tight that they removed it because when they had Apple Pay, I was cooking easy, bro. And it just sucks that they're adding it now that the Supreme Dunks already released. It's kind of a bummer. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I guess beggars can't be choosers. I don't think they've actually implemented it just yet. They did announce that it's actually coming. So for everybody that was able to hit with Apple Pay, there's good news for us out there, bro. Like I said, it just sucks that the Supreme Dunks already released. I honestly feel like i probably would have copped with apple pay it is what it is low-key i feel like i'm gonna get those somewhere down the line before prices go up i guess it's the thought that counts let me know if you're excited for supreme apple pay or is it just whatever to you second up is the fact that born and raised dunks are still gonna be releasing it's still rest in peace to one of the founders of born and raised but it's kind of cool that they are gonna be bringing the sneaker to us i know the hype is gonna be through the roof for this pair especially since resellers are gonna try to get them just to make a profit with which is kind of ass. I'm not going to lie to y'all. If I could get a pair of these in hand, I'd probably never sell these shits. It's a beautiful pair of dunks. And for a minute, we honestly thought these were never going to release. There's actually a picture going around of a bunch of pairs that got backdoored. They're pretty much controlling the market. I'm not going to lie to y'all, but these are going to release the 28th of September. It's literally right around the corner. And I'm pretty sure it's only going to release on the born and raised website. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to get a pair, but we already know how this shit goes. Morning I'm filming this video I tried for the Medellin Jordan 3s the J Balvin joints and it was a L for me bro I'm over here spelling Columbia with a U flame me if you want in the comments bro I did it like four times I'm like bro why the f is it not working I even tried the little voice assistant on my iPhone and it was still spelling it with the U bro so don't blame me I tried it is what it is bro I up. I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I would have got them for retail even though that shit would have been like 280 retail Which is beyond me. I am gonna try again tomorrow, which is Saturday I don't know when this video is dropping, but I'm gonna try for those bro. I definitely want to get my hands on them They kind of remind me of the Ama Manier Jordan 3s only with a little bit more color Which you can't go wrong with at the end of the day if I could get those for retail I definitely will we've also seen J Balvin wear a black pair and these are rumored to release sometime next year if I'm not mistaken Hopefully it's not just a friends and family because this colorway is actually pretty clean. In a recent interview, he spoke about the fact that he wants to do the Jordan collaborations in chronological order, starting from the one all the way up. He even spoke about the fact that the 11s never got touched. So he might want to do a collab on that one. If he's going to do it in order, the next one would be the four. I'm excited to see what he comes up with for the four. Hopefully he keeps the momentum going from this three because the two before this one were a little bit too loud. You feel me? This three is definitely the best one he's released in either the white or the black colorway both are bangers let me know if you would cop the black pair and let me know if you're excited to see what other models he does in the future this next story is probably the reason you click the video the fact that Nike's now going to be selling refurbished sneakers they're trying to be the new eBay bro they've been trying to do this for a while with raising the prices to now selling you sneakers I'm pretty sure this has been their plan all along they're trying to bring down StockX so they could be the new thing if that makes sense yesterday they started this beta website which is literally refurbished.nike.com if you go on and now there's a bunch of dookie ass pairs on there but yesterday they had the jordan 1 unc toes they had infrared sevens unc jordan 5 chambray jordan 5s and if you look at the prices on them they're literally half off for every pair which is kind of nuts bro i'm not gonna lie to y'all they trying to step in and go crazy with it if you can buy jordan ones that got tried on at the store some shit like that somebody tried them and got a little crease on it for a hundred dollars like you're winning it's kind of crazy that it's coming straight from nike so you don't got to worry about fakes you don't got to pay resale prices this could be something major but it can also affect the sneaker game in a negative way we just got to see what happens from here pretty sure they're going to take everything that goes to the outlets or sneakers people tried on or bought to resell and then they bricked or some shit they return it back to nike they're going to sell those pairs i wonder if there's also going to be b grades like where is this going to go type shit they basically listed steps on how they're going to do it we're going to go through the steps 
steps real quick. Step one, your team is gonna inspect items that can't be sold as new. Two, each product is gonna be cleaned and sanitized. Three, they're basically gonna grade the sneaker as like new, gently worn, or slightly imperfect, whatever that means. Step four, they're gonna sell the sneaker at one of their locations with the Nike refurbished box. This is kind of crazy. I wanna know in the comments how you guys feel about this whole situation. I've always looked at Grailed or eBay for you sneakers. So the fact that Nike, a major corporation, is stepping into this multi-billion dollar sneaker resale business is kind of crazy, bro. They are trying to take money from everywhere. Someone bought a UNC to Chicago high for $85. So if we could be looking at stuff like this, it's a no brainer, bro. I'm a low key be on that website trying to get some heat. I already buy you sneakers. So I'm not even tripping. That's pretty much the story. We got one more thing to cover in this video. And it's the fact that the Powerpuff Girl dunks have been surfacing everywhere and I can't deny it. So I had to talk about it with y'all. There's three different colors. We got the Bubbles, Blossom, and Buttercup. Out of these three colors, my favorite is definitely the Bubbles pair. Those go crazy, bro. The baby blue with the yellow hit a masterpiece. I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on those. Right now on the resale market, they're going for like $900. I'm not going to lie. So we skipping on that for now. But once more pairs start coming in, we're definitely going to try to take a look at these. And if I could get an early pair to show y'all, I definitely will. I'm just not trying to get my head cracked, bro. It is what it is. If I find the satin bread Jordan ones, I'm going to try to get an early pair for y'all. Let me know what early sneaker you would want me to do a review on in the comments. They're pretty costly. So I got to pick and choose wisely if that makes sense that's not even what we talking about though these dunks are clean bro at first i was like mm. the more i see them i saw them on feet they're looking kind of fire i really hope they drop the mojo jojo pair that's probably my favorite one then again we really don't know if that one's gonna release at all it might just be a friends and family pair regardless my order for the ones that are gonna release is the baby blue and the other two pairs you could low-key switch in and out some days i like the green ones some day i like the pink ones let me know in the comments how you guys would rank these that pretty much does it for this video though this was a shorter almost like a test video if you guys enjoy this format or want me to discuss news that has to do with sneakers for the week or bi-weekly let me know in the comments and also by leaving a like on this video because that's how i know if you guys are enjoying the content and i know what to do more of but i appreciate y'all i love y'all i hope you have a great night day morning whenever you watching spend some time with your loved ones because you don't know how much time we got left all that being said I'm gonna catch y'all in one of these two videos because that's what YouTube is recommending you based on what you've been watching. We got an early review for the playoff Jordan 8s coming soon. Those should come in the mail today or tomorrow. So hopefully I'm gonna get that filmed for y'all. More content on the way always. I love y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.